Okay, I'm Laura Ball. I'm 32 years old and I'm a medium in the group. And what, what got you into Stoke Haunted? To be honest, I was looking for a group that was professional in which I was able to um, utilise my skills and to, and to develop further as a medium myself. Um, to be honest, I think the group found me after looking on the internet. So, you say that you're a medium for the team, what mm. does this role entail for you? It entails quite a bit actually. Um, there is the main responsibilities of being a medium, which is ensuring that everybody is protected on top of their own protection. And there's also the transfer of information from the spirits, so whatever they give to me I relay as accurately as possible. Do you have any particular rituals or things that you do kind of religiously before you come out to an investigation? Generally, I think it's the same for most mediums. You'll go through and you make sure that your chakras are all cleansed. You'll go through, you'll make sure you're, you're up to date with your own protection and grounding. And I always say affirmations to keep everybody safe before we start and after we've finished, just to get that little bit of extra help from the spirit world noticed your bracelets. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell me a little bit about them? Yeah, um, this one here is hematite. It's used for grounding and also aids protection. This is also fluorite, which aids protection and clarity and also is an amplifier for the hematite. Thank you. Um, and can I ask you about your what for you is the worst part of an investigation? That's a difficult one. Sometimes it's not knowing what's there, so it's walking in somewhere and picking up on if the spirit's negative or positive. Once that's been established, which is usually fairly quickly, then things start to settle down a little bit more and we know where we stand, but I think it's that apprehension of not knowing what you're going to walk into. Have you ever come across something that you haven't been able to manage? No. No, not at all. Do you have coping strategies or managing strategies in place? Yeah, generally you, you make sure that you are protected. You've always got your guides working as well. And if there's anything that's getting a bit too out of hand or too too strong, you just close it down. Close it down and walk away. And have you had any training with regards to your mediumship? Yeah, um, I attend a um, spiritualist church where I've um, gone through all the basics to, um, to develop and learn as a medium. I also attend private psychic development classes with different people so it's it's more of a general learning so there's all different kinds of facets to it. It isn't just about mediumship. We go through and do um, different things regards to psychic work, psychometry and different facets so that it's it aids you in all of your all of your working really. Um, in addition to that I also work alongside with my brother and we will do a lot of linking and a lot of um, sort of working together to develop ourselves as well. So there's, there's a lot involved. Out of all the experiments that Stoke Haunted um, do, for mm -hmm. testing and for trying to gain proof, mm -hmm. which one do you find the, the easiest or which one do you find you get the best results for? None of the experiments are easy because you, you're literally waiting and relying on the goodwill of the spirits that are working with you. Um, one of my favourite ones is the table tipping because it's quite visual and you can get a lot of people involved in that. The glass spins are also very good but you've got to be careful of the information coming through that you do you take it with a pinch of salt because spirits will lie or they will tell you what you want to hear. So you've got to you've got to kind of ask your questioning in a different way so that you, you're you making sure that um, you are getting the correct information through. Okay. And lastly, 
what would you what would your advice be for somebody looking to get into a paranormal group or to try and broaden any kind of psychic or um, unique skills mm -hmm. such as what's used for these kind of groups? I think anybody that's looking to develop a longer spiritual path, I think the best way is to go to a spiritualist church or a recognised um, centre that does psychic development. That way you're learning the proper tools the correct way and you're learning the, the respect behind it rather than just jumping in, reading off the internet and not having the basis and the foundations of, of what mediumship's all about.